It has been so heartening to see how people are stepping up for the residents of Maui. I want to show you what's happened here in Wilmington at the Longshoreman Memorial Hall, ILWU, where they have packed 10 40 foot trailers of supplies to be shipped to Maui and counting. They actually say they've maxed out on donations, so don't bring anything else here. But we also wanted to highlight the efforts of another Hawaiian world champion MMA fighter, Alima Lay McFarland. She's Honolulu born. She's fundraised more than $2 million in five days, and we spoke to her when she was U-hauling supplies from San Diego to be shipped out of San Pedro. She told us that the funds raised will not only cover the cost of supplies, but will also go toward preserving Hawaiian culture and supporting the families who need it most. They're asking for very, very specific supplies, items that you would need in a power outage, solar powered, operated, you know, anything generators, things of that nature, but above all, what we are trying to encourage people who still want to help do is donate financially. The financial um, burden that many of these surviving families are now going to take on. So rest assured that 100% of the profit is going to go to the people, to the to the aid of Maui. There were two other big pieces of information she wanted us to pass on. One being, if you have a trip to Hawaii planned, cancel it. And that's not only to Maui, but any Hawaiian island, because she believes that you're going to detract from resources that should be going to Maui. And the second thing is that she's calling out developers and real estate people who are approaching those who have lost everything can't rebuild, can't afford to rebuild, and they're offering to buy their land. She said she will not stand for that. Lahaina residents will remain in Lahaina, and some of the money she raised will go towards supporting those rebuilding efforts. If you're interested in donating, we've put the link on our website, foxla.com. I'm Christina Pascucci reporting from Wilmington for Fox 11 News.